All right, it appears uh, we are yet to connect with Demola. We'll try again to get the latest from him. In the meantime, Lagos wasn't left out in Saturday's election. Before we take a look at how the numbers went in Lagos, let's try uh, to get uh, more from Demola. If you can hear me, uh, Demola, what can you tell us about uh, the collision of results? Has the process started yet? I'm actually at the INEC State Office here in Accra Ibom State in Ohio, precisely. And the coalition of results, uh, of course, was built for 9 a.m. This is past now already. Uh, the testimony of local government are already here. So uh, in a moment, they will be starting uh, with the coalition of results from all the testimony of local government in Accra Ibom State. Let's talk about uh, the party agents. Now that they are in the next phase now of uh, this electoral process, how much coordination or synergy are you observing from the party agents if they are already uh, present at the center? Yeah, some of them are already here at the center uh, to monitor the second phase of the process of the election. So uh, uh, this place, so they will also be uh, after they left the world and the local government, this is the last phase. So they would definitely uh, come in their numbers. But for now, just three of them are around. All right, Ademola, of course, we know you will continue to keep an eye on things over there uh, at the Collision Center. We will get back to you for more updates. Let's tell you about uh, the numbers here in Lagos as residents trooped out in their numbers to participate in the process. We have more in this report. The governorship and state house of assembly election in Lagos was generally peaceful. Lagos Island and some parts of Etiosa local government area witnessed considerable voter turnout and a hitch free exercise. At other polling units in the area, the exercise also went smoothly. Electoral officers got to their polling stations minutes after the official time and voters came out to perform their civic duty. Former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, cast his ballot in Ikeja. He commended INEC and security officials for improved process. The INEC has started very well. They got materials to various local governments uh, early enough. And uh, they logistically, they have well prepared. Why their staff arrived late in some areas is what I cannot explain because I'm, a, I'm restricted to telephone and uh, my location. I can only uh, take it from various. In terms of security, Nigeria, Lagos has always been ready to celebrate democracy. Senator representing Lagos Central Senatorial District, Senator Uluremi Tinubu, cast her ballot at Ward 9, polling Unit 34, and she commended the peaceful process. The point is seeing is believing. This is a, an administration that is working. I've never seen anything in the electoral process like this. I say kudos to Mr. President and thank God that Nigerians voted right. We see a system that has begun to work and it will continue to work for the upcoming generation. Governorship candidates Babajide Sonwolu and Jimmy Agbaje also commended the process after casting their ballots. We have conducted ourselves in a very peaceful and orderly manner even with all of the population that is there and I imagine that should be um, the examples that we should set for other polling units that let's self-regulate ourselves, right? It's not, we are not people that need to be militarized before we work, right? We are very law-abiding people, and you've, you've seen it here, you've been reflected here. Peaceful, very orderly. It's still early times. Uh, we believe, we hope that uh, as the day goes by, that we'll have more people coming out to vote. And it's important that we tell Lagos that it's important that they come out and exercise their rights. Despite the delay in the commencement of voting in Iba local council development area and Ojo local government, residents came out in their numbers to exercise their franchise. Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Idiot Adebule, cast her ballot alongside her husband after being accredited. It is not easy for 
an organization, no matter how perfect you are, so you have you have to have a process where, uh, in the course of doing all of this, you not have one hiccup or the other. But the most important is that we must learn from our mistakes and ensure that as we proceed, we continue to do to perfect the process and, and so that all of those issues, the mistakes will be will be reducing, and at the end of the day, we will have a perfect um, process in place. Party agents and voters also expressed happiness with the voting process. 62, 63. Away from Lagos now, the conduct of Saturday's governorship and state assembly election also in Oyo State has been adjudged free, fair and hitch free. TVC News, Abimbola Agwebi tells us more. Elections kicked off on a good note across Ibadan, Oyo State, Saturday morning. The electorate were happy about the conduct of the election. At Ward 9, polling unit 10 in Nadegoki Adelabu compound, Ibadan Southeast, the electorate came out in their numbers and INEC ad hoc officials had their hands full. Election observers made a few observations. It was alleged that INEC ad hoc official here did not have some vital items such as forms meant for persons living with disability and magnifying glasses for people living with poor vision. I cover unit 10, unit 11. So for, my, for the look of things here, there is no problem. People come out in masses to vote. On arrival to this place, we find out that there is no um, EC40H form, form that is, made, that is supposed to be made available for people that are disabled. Yeah, we don't have such form present now on ground. And no, there's no, mag that's, there's no uh, magnifying glasses for people that have sight um, problems. Um, yeah, that's true. We, we don't have them, they're not available. And yet, uh, we're still hoping that our SPO uh, could make available those materials, but at the moment, they're not here. Leadership candidate Adibayo Adilabu gave his assessment about the exercise. I'm uh, impressed with the general uh, situation of things at my polling unit here. Yeah. The turnout has been huge. Uh, uh, I think it's even better than what we had at the last election. And uh, it's been quite peaceful. Uh, there has not been any violence, no illegalism around this area. The security arrangement is also quite impressive. We've got the army, we've got the police, and we've got the civil defense here. And I understand that um, from what I have seen here, the INEX staff too seem to have mastered their game better than two weeks ago. They seem to have learned from the little mistakes of uh, a fortnight ago. And the process has been quite smooth, it's been quite effective. Generally, I think I will give I look, the passport. In this part of the city, elections were adjourned peaceful and hitch free. Abimbola Agbibi, TVC News, Ibadan, or your state. And TVC News, Ibrahim Shita now takes a look at how the governorship and state houses of assembly elections were conducted in the north. Voting was relatively smooth and peaceful across Gombe State. By early afternoon, many polling units had concluded voting and began counting of ballots. The State Commissioner of Police is also assuring residents that security agencies are ready to maintain peace even after the declaration of results. Uh, we have not uh, had any uh, report from anywhere. Uh, the reports we are getting all over the uh, state is that the exercise is going on smoothly. And that's why we are equally moving on to see areas we can make adjustments so that at the end of it we will record success. The polls were conducted in a peaceful and orderly manner in Sokoto State, despite pockets of violence in two communities, Guam and Kubu, in Mafa Local Council. In Yobe State, the electoral process was conducted in a peaceful atmosphere. The electorate in Gujba Local Government came out in large numbers, as many voters were relocated to the capital city to exercise the franchise due to insecurity in the communities. The state governor, Ibrahim Gaydam, was unable to cast his vote for the second time, but reasons are yet to know. As early as 7 a.m., eligible voters in Zamfara State converged on various polling units to perform their civic responsibilities. The turnout of the voters was impressive when compared to the last presidential or National Assembly elections. Governor Abdulaziz Yari Abubakar also applauded the majority and peaceful conduct exhibited by the residents. 
in my polling booth is what is the reflection of uh, what is happening in other parts of the state so, so that the election can be run peacefully and uh, transparently and convinced that they're credible. The number of women recorded at the various polling units attests to their commitment to be part of the journey of nation building. Governor Aminu Bello Masari cast his vote at his own town in Kafu local government area. He was impressed with the turnout of residents who later did not come out early but flooded the voting centers hours later. Although turnout of voters was not impressive, the polls in Kwara State proved pundits wrong would predict a chaos. As in the central district, reports of peaceful voting were received. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, voted in what was described as a peaceful process. Gotten reports from certain other areas where the turnout is not as impressive as this. I've also gotten reports in some certain areas where there have been some pockets of violence which have been escalated and have been reported to the appropriate authorities. And residents of Kano State also expressed satisfaction with the conduct of the polls. They also commended the effort of security men who ensured peace in the state. Well, that's the news we can take at this time. But you can follow us on our social media platforms for updates. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just use our handle at TVC News NG. And you can get, get details of all stories we're reporting on our website, tvcnews.tv. Thanks for staying with us on TVC News. We'll have more at the top of the hour. In the meantime, back to Michael Koche and his guests for more on Nigeria Votes Analysis. All right, it's an interesting morning. Hello and, again, and welcome again to Nigeria Votes 2019, our special and detailed coverage of the general election. It's the day after the governorship and national assembly election in Nigeria, and results have been awaited from the Independent National Electric Commission in parts of the country. Now, in the last 24 hours, we've had our correspondence spread across 36 states of the country, 
uh, take us through the process of voting, sorting and counting. And the course of the show, some of them will be bringing us updates at intervals. Now, governorship election held only in 29 states, like we have always uh, let you know, while uh, state assembly elections held across the country. Now, states where governorship election did not hold are uh, Oshun, Ikiti, Edo, Anambra, Kogi, Ondo, and Bayasa states. Now, this is because their own elections took place what they call off-season uh, due to constitutional interpretations when it comes to the commencement of uh, time of uh, tenure. Now, I am Mike Okwache, and I'll be your guide for the next couple of hours. So we've been doing this, and uh, in the studio, I still have my guests with me, Ayodele Adewale. He is a political analyst and former chairman of the Dauphin local government area here in Lagos State. I also have with me a lawyer and a public affairs analyst, Kotis Adigma. Kotis, it's really nice to have uh, both of you in Thank the you, studio. And don't forget, we still have our correspondents giving us updates from parts of the country. And uh, we are awaiting uh, a collation to begin in some of the states. In other states, like in uh, uh, Ilori, in, Qua in Quara State, about uh, 11 local government areas have uh, brought in their results so far. And they're waiting for the rest to commence. All right, let's get into what we've been talking about generally. Our political development, we have, we have evolved over time. But when an average Nigerian makes comparison between Nigeria and developed countries like the United States, Canada, Britain, France, and so on, you, you see the, the difference is, is quite large when it comes to whether we're getting it right or not. But from where we started from, and where we are right now. One would say we've made lots of progress. But let us come back to the issue of the everyday issues that, that, that impact on how people vote, how people react to this, our cultures and religion. 